last thought last night before I went to bed, I was thinking about our 100-year uh, celebration, which was two years ago, and how I had made the statement there that there was no one with living memory of what the landscape of Kansas looked like without this building. That changed Friday. Memories rushed through the minds of the many onlookers. Our uh, girls used to go to church here, and I have two daughters that were married here and a daughter that was baptized here and a daughter that was gonna be married here. I was ordained into the ministry in this church. I was married in this church. Every major event that, that uh, is important to my life has happened around this building. Of course, you can't see them now, but perhaps the most prominent features of this church were the two huge stained glass picture windows that greeted drivers who headed down Franklin Street. Yeah, the stained glass windows that what everybody talked about when they would drive up to the building, how beautiful they were. And a lot of people that got married here would have their pictures taken with the stained glass in the background. Perry Props now lives in Effingham, but with his family in Florida, he decided to document the church's final moments. A little bit of shock um, until they saw the pictures on Facebook. They um, weren't really, I don't think it hit home until they saw the pictures. But the shock soon wore off for this small town. Churchgoers are already thinking of ways to rebuild. I love the vision that people are having now of what comes next. And uh, so it's going to be interesting over the next few months to see how they bring that vision through. In Kansas, Aja Byport for ABC News Channel 15.